All right. So we are here at Inner Solar 2024 at the San Diego Convention Center, and I've seen Fluke many times at these conventions, and they've always been so crazy and wild that I've never had the opportunity to actually talk to them about some of their products and why I use their products in the field on a day-to-day -day basis, because there's an inherent value to what Fluke is developing and putting forth in the solar industry. So I'm gonna be talking with Will. He is a solar application specialist, and we're specifically gonna be talking about this awesome product he's holding in his hands that's been designed specific for the solar industry. So Will, please give us some insight into this Fluke product. Absolutely, this is the SMFT-1000. It's the solar multifunction tool. Um, it's designed around an IEC standard that's popular in Europe that's a requirement for testing photovoltaic systems when they commission them. So it goes through a whole series of tests that are required and that's all built into this one tool. Um, it starts off with a visual inspection checklist, which is just ensuring that everything was installed properly. It's a simple pass-fail criteria. Um, we have Arlo, which is connecting, uh, testing bonding, making sure all of the non-current carrying metal parts are connected together. So ensuring that the frame of the module or the racking is actually connected to the grounding system, which is really important for safety. Uh, it will check voltage and polarity, open circuit voltage, short circuit current. It will also test power. So there's a current clamp that comes with it, voltage probes, you set those up on the DC side measure the DC power, save that in the instrument, then you move the clamps to the AC side, measures AC power, and then this will actually calculate inverter efficiency. So you can see how efficient the inverter is operating. So I know that was a lot that we all just took in from Will, but it's all good information. So let me break it down. I'm going to start from the panel connection. So the there are a lot of features this thing has, but the ones that are really standing out to me are the inverter testing and the module testing. So maybe you're a homeowner and you're buying a home with solar. Why is it important for you to find a contractor that has this product? Because they're going to actually be able to provide meaningful test results on the system that you're buying with that home. Is it really doing what you're being told from the realtor or from the home seller? they may not really know. And if you don't have a contractor that has a product like this to be able to run those types of tests, we're kind of just throwing things into the wind. And that's not really effective in my opinion, especially when you're making a large investment. So give me some more insight into how the inverter feature works because I haven't heard of anything like that. Can you connect it to say like a micro inverter? The important part is you have to be able to get the current clamp around the conductors. It's really challenging with microinverters because the AC output of that goes directly into a trunk cable. The benefit of a microinverter or DC optimizers is you also have module level monitoring. So you know exactly what's going on with that module and that microinverter. Um, so that kind of test isn't as necessary because the inverter is already going to give you that information. But on a hybrid inverter or an older string inverter system, which are still very popular today, there's a lot of older sites that we come across that we're having to upgrade the inverter because it's failed. And we really don't know how good the solar modules are doing up on the roof. So having something like this to be able to offer our customers as an option, whether you're having or dealing with a string inverter or you're dealing with a hybrid inverter, so that way you could do those types of tests more or less, um, how would it work with the module? How is it helping you determine if its rate of degradation isn't greater than the warranty? Yeah, so the SMFT-1000 will do an IB curve test also. That's one of its other main tests. Um, IB curve testing checks the module to make sure it's working to the man manufacturer's specifications. And it's one of the few tests that will find problems with modules that you can't find with just voltage or current testing. So a uh, really great way to see that the module and the string of modules is working the way it's supposed to. So you can actually do a string of modules with it. You don't have to do a per module. So you could utilize it for troubleshooting if there was a bad module. Would it, allow, would it help identify the module's location? 
Not necessarily, but there are techniques of splitting strings up to figure out where that bad module is. So it will help you identify it uh, definitely, but it takes a little troubleshooting. Now I imagine this product is most often looked at for use in the commercial space, but obviously I wanted to talk to you about it because I feel there's a missing gap for this type of technology in the residential space. And I think it's important that you know homeowners know that they can ask their contractor that installed their system or find a contractor that in, that specializes in solar to utilize a product like this and confirm that their system's operating in a meaningful way. Is there anything else this has that maybe we missed or maybe that Fluke offers in general for the solar industry? Yeah, this will also do insulation resistance testing, so ensuring that the wire hasn't been compromised, another great test for troubleshooting. Yeah. Um, this system, uh, this device will test up to 1,000 volts and 20 amps, so it can be used in both residential and commercial industrial applications, and it's a great tool for residential troubleshooting. Yeah. No, I appreciate the time, Will. I'm super excited to be finally talking about a Fluke product. I've seen you guys so many times at different conventions, and it's you guys are always doing great things. I know anybody that uses Fluke, they've always spoke so highly of it. And I personally use Fluke, so I know it's a good product. I'm, I'm super excited to be talking to you. So thanks for your time, Will. Yeah.